Hey everyone, welcome back to my shop.、Uh, my friend Andy is coming over today, and we're going to discuss this thing. It's a pretty cool little bit of、uh, Chattanooga history, and、uh, I guess you could call it industrial archaeology, if you will. But it's a steam whistle, and it belongs to a friend of his, and we are going to make a display for it. This is from a steam shovel. A steam shovel that was at a quarry here in Chattanooga. That, and the operator of the shovel is the grandfather of the guy who asked us to build this. Yep. And we're going to make a mount for it to sit on a wall. This、yeah. thing weighs a ton. Yeah, probably what thirty, something like that. Thirty pounds. Plus, we'll put it on one of these pieces of walnut, so the weight of that. Yeah, <laughs> and then、uh, I don't have a sturdy wall.、Huh? And I think we want to stick with the industrial yeah. look. Yeah. So I think pipe would be our first choice. But seeing if we can get inch and a half pipe, I flattened this piece, this slab. I picked up some pipe. Yeah, I noticed it was rocking a little bit, wasn't it? It doesn't feel like it is. Solid as a rock. What are you talking、yeah. about? I think there's two ways of going about it, right? You don't want to draw attention. I mean, this thing's cool, right? Right. You don't want to take away you want attention. To, you want to see it, right? So, right, right. I'm thinking just a very basic. We're going to rough cut it 48 inches. Our distance we know from the bottom to the top of the whistle is 38 inches. Right. And then we can do like a little detail that will mimic the top of the whistle, kind of coming to the sides. What's the next step? Uh, so we can design something on the CNC. Oh, you gonna let it cut it out? Yeah, I think so. The the detail. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. How else would you do? <laughs> <laughs> well, me. <laughs>、um, Coping saw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Coping saw and、uh, chisels. <laughs> yeah, I think I'll let the CNC do it. Text message and stuff. You're like a teenager. Get off your phone. So the problem with those. Aluminum French cleats,、yep. they go horizontal, right? Right. And between that, which is probably like twenty-five,、yeah. thirty pounds, yeah. This, which is going to be another ten, yeah. I got you. You have forty-five, fifty pounds, and you're how many? You're going to get one screw into a stud. So, right. right. I'd, I'd be a little nervous about that. I was thinking about using some one by two, yeah, and maybe doing like a thirty-degree bevel on it, and pock it out in some. Yeah, the yeah. the back side, and I'll put like a just, I'll just weld that up so it's closed, and then you can drill some holes going down the center,、yeah. so that you can get three good sized screws going into a stud, and then for the screws that come through here, kind of the same thing. I rather than just screws going in, yeah, I would through bolt it and just. Put like holes on the backside. Recessed. Yeah, yeah. So you could do like a little flat washer, so that it would sit nice and flat. I, I'm just wondering if you need, if you really need the bolts.、Uh, have, have no, but it's、screws. overkill. Okay. <laughs> it's overkill. It. <laughs> you know. You would never wonder about it pulling out. Right. 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 It, it, it just wouldn't be an issue. Do you want to do this? I might. I didn't think I needed to at first, but now that I'm well, watching. Well, now, now I feel like I need to get some on here too. All right. Well, since you were last here,、uh, I finished off the butterfly that we put in, put the edge detail on the side of it, and I also put like a little chamfer on the bottom,、oh, uh, yeah. just to you know, make it, make it not look so bulky.、Yeah. Um, and then, of course, put the finish on it. And I used、uh, Danish oil,、oh, okay. so just the one step thing. So. So it won't be shiny. It won't be shiny. It'll be matte, and、yeah. this, you know, should make it kind of pop. And I, I don't think it's dark enough or too dark that this won't show up very nicely. Yeah. yeah. So we need to put the pipe in here, get it orientated so that it's straight on the 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 mount. Well, yep.、Yeah. And then what I'll do is I will just use a silicone brazing rod to. Uh, just tack it in place so it can't turn. Will that、future. be able to be undone if they ever need to? Well, we can unscrew it from here, but no, but it'll, be, it'll be locked together.、Okay. Yeah, paint. Yep. And assemble. Oh no. 
Oh, it's stuck in there. There we go. Uh, I think your friend will be happy with it. He should. Don't forget the polish, too. All the, poli the, polishing, the polishing, polishing, polishing and uh, ruining polishing. my good brush. Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> but I like the detail on the top uh, that your hand is blocking, but that's okay. Well, here. And it's, uh, that? yeah, it's in frame, so. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, just, it's pretty simple. Just put a nice little detail on the corners. Mm -hmm. Excellent job. Good job, Andy. Good job, Paul. <laughs> Way to go. Thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll see you next time. Hit that subscribe button. <laughs>